So, my friends, we are gathered here today for the an occasion of utmost importance for everyone's favorite, lovable, bald little gremlin, Mr. Kerry King of Slayer. <laughs> is finally back with a vengeance with his new band. Guess what the band is called? It's called Kerry King. I mean, like, what else would it be? I love, like, the anticipation that he was building for this band. Like, hype train, big time, ready for this big reveal. And then it's just like, it just drops it out of nowhere. It's just like, yeah, so, like, the band's just called, like, uh, Kerry King. <laughs> it's like, okay, fair dues. Before we go any further, I just want to let you know that I'm now offering a seven-day free trial for my online guitar school. Unlock the entire archive of super fun lessons, exercises, and content, as well as Discord access and guided weekly mentoring from me. Click the link in the description below to visit Bradley Hall's Guitar School and sign up today for free. Yeah, he's back. I, know. I need to remind myself like who exactly is in his band who's in his new band cranking uh announced his lineup of solar band shares first single idle hands joining the 59 he's 59 well I, I guess you age pretty well i suppose when you're uh, when you're bald as good as someone that looks like Kerry king can look like i suppose joining the 59 year old guitarist on the lp lp my god what year is this our death angel singer mark Osigeda, longtime Slayer drummer Paul Bostaff. Oh, I remember him. He was on all like the, the not very good Slayer albums. <laughs> Former Hell Yeah bassist Kyle Sanders. Wait, isn't that the KFC guy? An ex machine head and violence guitarist Phil Demmel. All right, I know him. Death Angel. I've, got, I've not heard about Death Angel in ages. Are they still going? I don't really remember them too well. They're one of those sort of like, uh, didn't quite make it into like the. I don't know. Well, certainly not the A tier. They're more like a sort of like a C tier. They're like one of the better, like more obscure thrash bands. Let's see. Oh, I like that. Oh, oh that's good. That's exactly my sort of shit. I have a feeling that that's probably much better than whatever this Kerry King, sing uh, King song is going to be like. So, from Hell I Rise. Oh my god, is that the name of the fucking album? Mm. From Hell I Rise contains 13 tracks. King told Rolling Stone that the title track, From Hell I Rise, is one of two songs, along with Rage, on the album that he has carried over from Slayer's Repentless Sessions. Oh, okay. So we're not looking at, like, a, uh, a big reinvention of, uh, you know, Kerry King's legacy. Asked why he decided to call his band Kerry King. Okay. The guitarist said, I didn't. It was going to be King's Reign for a long time, which is really cool. Okay, if you say so, bro. <laughs> but even with that one, I went to the guys like, I'm not a vain dude. I don't want my name to be a part of it. We talked about Blood Rain for a while, but it didn't work. <laughs> Every time I came up with anything remotely cool, it was taken by some obscure band in Eastern Europe. It became Kerry King because I love that logo. <laughs> I love how he's like, I'm not a vain dude. And so they just like settled with like fucking Kerry King in the end. Oh my God. I love how the, and I love how uh, the journey of this name went from King's Reign to Blood Reign. <laughs> As though that's some sort of like massive, like fucking intellectual leap. Imagine them they're all sort of like sitting around like uh, his house, just like smoking or whatever. And they're just like, like spitballing band names. Like, um, King's Reign. And then Kerry's like, what? Yeah, that's pretty good, but it's it's not quite it's not quite there. We need something we need something a little little extra, a little extra, just uh, a bit more, a bit more. And then he's like, oh oh, blood blood rain, blood rain. That's one. Yeah, not king's rain, blood rain. That's it. That that's the ticket. And he's like, oh oh yeah, oh yes, yeah, whoa, oh that's oh, that's a good one, eh? Oh, to be honest, yeah, I mean, like, all of these names are fucking stupid, so you, if you're gonna go down that route, you might as well just go full fucking stupid and just call it Kerry King, I mean, <laughs> why not? So, Kerry King with his new project, Kerry King. Let's check out the song Idle Hand. Oh my god, this fucking thumbnail. <laughs> what is this? I really hope that, like, this is just, like, a fucking still throughout the whole video, and it's just that. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Pretty fucking slayery so far with the gallopy zeros. That's cool. That's a uh, that sounds pretty slayery and like um you know legitimately Tom Arrayery array array -er 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 the way it's just sort of like uh starting off kind of chill and then building up and so like <laughs> then ending on some sort of like big unhinged yell. My god, are they still doing the fucking, like, um, anti-religion shtick, though? I mean, like, come on, this is, like, tired as fuck by this point. 
with my own eyes. Can't dissect the truth from all the lies. Ideology is at the core. Deceiver or believer, your faith, I don't need. Anymore. Man, this is some fucking, like, uh, edgy 15-year-old boy shit. Where do I get in line to question all divine? So many rules to bend till the end. <laughs> Idle hands do the devil's work. I love it, man. I just love this, uh, this whole package. <laughs> Sorry, this video is, like, cracking me up so much. Do you remember those memes? Of like, um, <laughs> yeah, this is it. Yeah, like this. This is like the perfect example. <laughs> this is, this is Kerry King's, uh, new band, like, personified. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Ch Kerry King just like woke up one morning and just like chose this t-shirt. Decided to like model his like, <laughs> his whole personality and like, <laughs> and career around this like t-shirt. <laughs> And just like the lyrics and like just everything about Kerry King. Like <laughs> I do like that bit though. It's like really simple, but it's got, you know, it's got groove and it's just like fucking... Mm, it's tight. And it sounds pretty good as well. Like the mixing is decent. There's the logo. There it is. I want that on a fucking t-shirt right now. Hell's Kitchen logo. <laughs> oh shit, it actually is. Oh, nearly coming to the end. That's a cool riff though. That's gotta be Kerry King. That's a Kerry King solo. Got that sort of wah, wah tone. Yeah, it's got, it's got the fucking whammy bar shit. It's got, that's gotta be him. Oh, You know what? That wasn't half bad. That was actually better than I thought it would be. My expectations were low, granted. But, you know, come on. A band headed and masterminded by Kerry King. It's only gonna sound like one thing, right? <laughs> it's, they're not gonna start sounding like fucking Tesseract or something, are they? Like, you know what, let's be real. So keep your expectations in tow, but it's it's fine if you just want some like fucking, you know, brain dead, straightforward, thrashy riff fest with some like um, horrible, horrible, cringy thirteen-year-old boy hates his family, doesn't want to go to church because he thinks it's. Uh, I can't remember where I was going with this point. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. It is what it is. Like, it does it does what it does well. Uh, it doesn't try to pretend to be anything um, that it's not. The vocal delivery was kind of cool. Performances were good. Yeah, I would give it, um, I don't know. It's like a six and a half or a seven out of ten, I guess, for me. It's fine. I'm going to level with you guys. I think the, the music world, well, the metal world, I guess, is missing just some, like, you know, straightforward, balls-to-the-wall, no-nonsense thrash metal these days. I feel like there's just, like, no bands these days that are, like, you know, fairly well-known and getting good exposure playing thrash. There's no one. I think it just needs some bands to just come along and, like, reinvigorate that sound a bit. Because, like, what they called, um, Power Trip. That's it. Power Trip. Yeah, I feel like they were pretty close to sort of, like, bringing thrash metal back to a bigger audience. So, yeah, and they sort of, like, modernise the thrash sound a bit. Thing is, like, uh, this thing that, like, Kerry King is doing, it's, like, it does sound very dated. It just sounds like it's just a continuation of, like, what, you know, Slayer have always been doing. It just needs some bands to sort of just, like, give it, give thrash that just, like, modern edge a little bit. Just bring things up to date. Just give it some more credibility. And you know what? I honestly thought that thrash was going to make a bit of a comeback after all, like, the... Stranger Things stuff, you know, the Master of Puppets and the, what's his name, Eddie Manson? Munson, Eddie Munson. I thought he was going to sort of like, um, you know, help bring all that stuff back, but it just sort of didn't. Just sort of like, became popular for a little bit and then just like, died like any fad. Yeah. All right, mate. Do that. Do that. Do that. Nice one. Oh.